Hey all, welcome to Real Little Britain. Folks, tonight I've got a beer for you from one of my favourite breweries of all time, Five Towns. Now, why is this one of my favourite breweries? One of the uh, most important things about this brewery for me is that they do solid beer. That means it's a go-to brewery for me. I want something good, thirst quenching, and something I'm going to enjoy, Five Towns Brewery. What is even better now is now we can get bottles in Reading. Uh, this was purchased from the Grumpy Goat, uh, Real Little Cheese store in Harris Arcade and this one was purchased for two eighty five. Now um my regular supplier of five towns is David uh from Beer House in um Yorkshire. Um still put in orders and still get five towns beers but it's a pleasure to um just walk past uh and see five town breweries beers in Redden. So really looking forward to trying this. This is a new one. It's called a hoppy accident at five percent ABV. Let's crack this fab open and let's see exactly what this beer's like. This was brewed by the Northern Magician as their Muglum. So, the beer is open with a light hiss, and as always, five times brewer's glass. So the beer is pouring with um, low carbonation. It's got a wonderful, uh, it's, it's like a light lemon color with a little bit of burnt orange to it. Now, that has poured with a half a finger white kind of kind of soapy head you can see the carbonation starting to rise up the beer itself is a little bit murky but let's go straight in with the nose oh the first thing you get is melon there's white grape there's that um stickiness you get from galaxy hops There's a little bit of orange. And what also starting to pop through is a little bit of wheat. We're getting straight in. Cheers. Oh. Oh, that is so thirst quenching. <clears throat> Folks, let me just say the bitterness in this beer is absolutely fantastic. This is the type of beer you want uh, on a hot summer's day coming in from work. Or after doing some type of manual labour. Very, very good. The first thing you pick up is lovely golden deep malts. It's like a mixture between Mars solder and lager malt. You're also picking up um, a little bit of white bread. <coughs> then what starts to kind of come through is Cascade hops. A little bit of gra uh, grapefruit. A little bit of bitterness. Um, there's also the light spiciness of Chinook. Um, oh, the, the bitterness is absolutely fantastic. Um, there's a little bit of wheat. It's leaving that oiliness in the inside of the pa uh, palate. There is deep, earthy, um, fresh, green, cut grass notes. And this beer is all about whole cone hops. This is very, very good, folks. And very, very sessional. Beer, 5%. Do you get the 5% you do? The body in the beer is absolutely uh, stunning. And when I poured the beer, it poured with low carbonation. Um, but actually, uh, as you drink the beer, it kind of sizzles and then kind of fizzles out on your tongue. Um, for me, that is the type of um, conditioning you want for uh, a lovely, light, golden ale. What's the finish like? The finish is big, bold and hoppy with this unique but strong thirst quenching bitterness. Folks, what do I give Malcolm uh, Bisto, the Northern Magician, for his uh, a hoppy accident at 5% ABV? Well, Malcolm, this to me is an 8 out of 10. It's an 8 out of 10. Folks, that's really the Britain doing a review 
on five town breweries, a hoppy excellent at five percent ABV. Cheers, Slamakara.